Brennan gets some open space. Score! TJ <laughs> Brennan! Brennan, score! AHL history for TJ Brennan! For the better part of four seasons, his name was synonymous with Lehigh Valley Phantoms hockey. Brennan in front, score! Veteran TJ Brennan is one of the most accomplished defensemen to ever play in the American Hockey League. Traded to the Chicago Blackhawks in February, he played 230 games in orange and black and ranks among the best scorers in Lehigh Valley history. Brennan, though, has the puck. Quick shot, score! T.J. Brennan from the half wall, it's one nothing Phantom! Hockey isn't the only sport T.J. fancies or excels at. The New Jersey native back in the Lehigh Valley working on his competitive golf game. In most off seasons, especially the past like five or six, I definitely try and refocus that like competitiveness towards uh, you know something else, and golf has kind of taken place there. Um, it kind of feels like it balances it out. Hockey's so fast and reactionary that golf is like got to control your mind, but in a whole different way. So you qualified for the Pennsylvania Mid Amateur a couple of weeks ago. Tell us how you got involved, and was that the goal? I just wanted to like kind of test my game. I've played at courses and you know you play against other guys and play little matches here. Not little but like matches and you know that's the fun stuff. That's the stuff to me that you realize like oh maybe I'm when something's on the line you either are good at it or you're not. So you know that's something that's a way to learn and how to get better at it and you know kind of putting yourself in that position allows you to like grow even though it's tough and um, yeah so I figured kind of throwing myself out there into those High, higher quality tournaments um, or, or qualifiers, uh, there's going to be some really good players there and it's not going to be an easy task, so uh, it kind of gave me something to shoot for. You're always a guy that's up for a challenge and you, you shot pretty well because they took the top 20. I think you finished tied for eighth, what, two over par? Yeah. Is it one of your better rounds or is that typically um, where you're at when you play? Uh, it's, it's, it's difficult. It's tough to compare because that, you know, the circumstances are different. Um, but to be able to like do that when it matters, you know, felt really, really re rewarding, especially because I know how I felt where I was, I was really nervous. Um, I had three birdies in the last four holes and something mentally, I felt like I got over a big mental block where I changed the mindset I was in into a more like aggressive and I'm in control here. And uh, the finish kind of strong like that was great, and to be able to qualify made it even better. You know, it was kind of rewards for changing my mindset. So what's the best part of your game? We're on the driving range. How far can you drive a ball, and is this, <laughs> is this what puts you in the mid-am? Um, I would say, I would say usually putting is uh, a better part of my game. It's kind of always how I looked at it. It's funny, that's how I looked at hockey, where it's like, if you can score, <laughs> well, then you're probably really valuable. So to me, it's like if you could putt well, like you could make up for a lot of stuff that you did wrong. <laughs> so um, it's just a funny game in that sense. You could hit it really far and be so close to the hole and then it could take you three shots to get to the hole. Mm -hmm. You know, and you're like, you made up so much ground with a really long shot. Um, and you know, if you're not able to put it in the hole, then like, what good is that? What good is that length? So what's the furthest you've driven a ball? You're asking good questions because I don't like talking about myself <laughs> too much like this. Um, I know um, that I do not want to be in front of the net when you're shooting a hockey puck. <laughs> and I know that guy down there does not want to get hit with a ball that you're hitting either. Um, I would say maybe a little over 300 yards with a driver. Um, sometimes when the conditions are pretty good, I can, I can get it out there uh, All right. pretty good. My turn. Yeah. What's the, what's, the, what's the trick here? Because people at home have come to know that I'm not good at many sports uh, <laughs> that we put on TV. We'll try and go with like three tips here. Three tips here, real right. quick. Let's so see. we'll get the hand set, hands set, like kind of together, the thumb underneath. Thumb underneath. A little uncomfortable, but that's... Yeah. Um, then if you have like this off the inside foot, which I think is good. Inside foot. And then when you come back, keep that left arm straight and come back over your head and then just follow through like you're on a pendulum. Keep trying to come down on the same plane that you brought it back. All right, see over under on if I connect with the ball. I think you're gonna do it. I think I'm gonna do it, all right. I love the confidence, thank you. All right, ready? 
All right, hey, yeah. that's great. Making contact. <laughs> well, I respect the effort. Well, thank you, I, I yeah, appreciate yeah. that. You know, the last time we saw you here in the Lehigh Valley was a while ago. It's kind of an abrupt end to your tenure with the Phantoms, you got traded. Fans didn't like it, we didn't like it. Yeah. Uh, we miss you here, but was it tough for you? Yeah, um, I think it was something that was developing um, that was kind of hard to call it what it was. You know, I think at some point, you know, all, all good things come to an end at some point. Um, and as, as much as I've loved it here in the Valley and, and with the Phantoms, everything's been so great. Um, that takes a little time to like get over and for myself, like I felt like I had a good connection with a lot of people in the community and, and fans and people within the organization. So uh, it was tough to let that go because there's like an emotional attachment there too. So it also makes me appreciate like everything still, you know, it's like there's no bad blood or anything. It's just, you know, it's part of a business and maybe there's a new opportunity for me elsewhere and that doesn't change how I feel about the Lehigh Valley, so. You rank up there, obviously, in a number of statistical categories, Phantoms-wise, you know, AHL-wise for defensemen, of course, but you were a part of a lot of really big wins, a couple of playoff runs. Obviously, you scored a ton of goals. I mean, when you look back, are there some moments that stand out more than others that you reflect on fondly? Um, here's a really honest answer. Um, I think part of coming here uh, to the Lehigh Valley was to help me like grow as a person. Um, the, I, I always dreamed about playing like with the Flyers and you know that was such a part of it and obviously the Phantoms were, were a part of that too when I was younger. Um, so that's in some ways it was like check like you know dream somewhat uh, well I didn't play with the Flyers but like you know I went through the process I gave it my all and, and that's I have to justify whether that's good enough for me so I try not to live in regret there but what I felt was really helpful is I felt like through my time with the Phantoms and in the Valley that I really grew like as a person. And I can say that I feel like I'm a better person now than when I was when I came in and I've kind of broadened my horizons and luckily we've had some like really great experiences hockey wise, but um, up until the point before I, I came here, I felt my life was only hockey. And that was awesome, but like it was time to expand and grow and learn more. and even though there was struggles and, you know, maybe some, you know, we didn't win a championship, um, which is hard to do, but like there still was a lot of positives and, and really good things that um, came out of it. And those are the things that, you know, I try and remember and, you know, take with me moving forward. I know there's so much uncertainty right now with, with sports, the game, what's going to happen for the 2021 season, but you've played 11 professional seasons of hockey. Is there, is there going to be a 12th? Uh, I hope so. That's definitely, um, that is not entirely up to me. <laughs> if someone's willing to give me an opportunity, I would definitely, um, definitely think about it. Um, you know, I, I think part of this uh, time right now, it's, it's helping me reflect and realize like what I want and what that would look like, you know, what, what life is going to look like moving forward. And, uh, you know, if, uh, if I were to play hockey, like what I would want from it and to kind of set clear goals with myself. Um, I've tried to like step away from the game in a bit and use this time to, you know, reflect and, and see other interests and, and take advantage of, of the time. And uh, jumping back on the ice, like here and there, um, I just get rejuvenated with the love I have for the game. So, um, like I said, if, if something was fitting, I, I, I think it'd probably be really hard to say no to, um, but you just don't know what's going to happen or if that offer would even come. So I think just... we know TJ Brennan enough that when you go for something, you're probably going to get it. So if you say yes, oh, wow, my money's really nice. on a 12 season at least for you and your pro career. You remember here with Greg Carey, he tells us uh, that he's best known for how he dresses around here. Is that accurate? <laughs> or... That is definitely accurate. It is accurate, okay. So you're the better golfer, he's the better dresser. Is that, um, you I mean, that? it's just like good company. <laughs> you know, we both love the sport. He definitely um, projects a really good image. He <laughs> cares what he's wearing, which I think is great. Actually, like something like this shirt was, came from, not came from Greg, but like, told me about it. I was he like, you know what, I need to you. step my style up a little he bit. He picked that out for you, I love it. Uh, somewhat. 
Well, thanks for taking yeah. the time, and always great to catch up with you. Glad to have you back in the Valley for however long that might be, and good yeah. luck at the mid-amateur. Yeah. Well, thank you guys. I appreciate it.